Hi everyone, Morgan here. So we're talking about the homework dealing with molar mass problems, okay? I have got myself my calculator ready to go. I've got a copy of a periodic table which I'm going to keep here. I'm going to make reference to that a lot as we go through this homework. And we're going to be doing some arithmetic here. So in the instructions it's saying to fill these out to two places after the decimal. Okay, so we're always just going to be consistent about that. And it's saying that we're going to do our units in grams per mole. So let's get started off. NH3. I've got nitrogen and I've got hydrogen. Okay, there's one nitrogen and there's three hydrogens. Times. Now on my periodic table, nitrogen is 14.01. And hydrogens over here are 1.01. So I'll use my calculator 1.01 times 3 plus that 14.01, and I get 17.04 grams per mole. Okay. Carbon, hydrogen, one carbon and four hydrogens times. Well, the carbon on my periodic table is 12.01. My hydrogens, once again, are 1.01. .01. Don't try to memorize these numbers, okay? But what I can tell you is after a couple of days, you're going to remember us a good deal of them. Four times 1.01 .01 plus 12.01, .01, and that gives me 16.05. grams per mole. Okay. Now for pH 3, phosphorus and hydrogen, 1 and 3 times. Now the phosphorus, that over here, that's 30 point 30.97 and my hydrogen still 1.01. .01. I think that's going to come out to be a very round number. 1.01 .01 times 3 plus 30.97, and I'm getting 34.00 grams per mole. Now for PCL5, phosphorus, chlorine, one phosphorus and three chlorines, times the phosphorus is 30.97, and the chlorine is 35.45. So 35.45 times 3 plus my 30.97, and I'm getting 137.32. And every time the unit here is coming out as grams per mole. Nitrogen, chlorine, 1 nitrogen, 3 chlorines, times 14.01 times 35.45. So 3 times 35.45 plus my 14.01 and I'm getting 120.36 grams per mole. Okay, H2O, I've got hydrogen, I've got oxygen, I got two hydrogens, one oxygen times 1.01 .01 times 16.00. That I can actually do in my head. It's 18.02 grams per mole. Now, looks similar, but it's different. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen and oxygen, 2 and 2, times 1.01 .01 .01 times 16.00. That gives me a 34.02 grams per mole. Sulfur, 8 times 32.07. Okay, so 8 times 32.07. Nope, make that a 7. There we go. Boom, 256.56. 256.56 grams per mole. Okay. Now 
down here. Lead, ooh, it's a heavy one. One lead times. And for PB, I'm getting 207.20, and for chlorine, 35.45. So 35.45 times 2 equals add 207.2, and that gives me 278.1. 0 grams per mole. Then the last one for this side is diatomic iodine. 2 times 126.90. So 2 times 126.90. And I'm getting 253.80. Grams per mole. All right, so let's look back at the top half here. Pause if you need to. The bottom half here, again, hit pause if you need to. All right, so now for the back half. Let you check your work here. Here are the first four problems. Pause it if you need to. And now the bottom half of the page. And again, hit pause if you need to. All right, so there you go. That's the molar mass homework. Hope you did well on that. This is Morgan, signing off.